All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I automated the response to Facebook group comments on a post. So I, I made a post inside of a Facebook group, people would comment, and then I automated a response to them. Um, the reason I set this up is because inside of one of my Facebook groups, I would do these giveaways and I would say, Hey, who, who all wants this thing? And then, you know, I'd wake up in the morning and there would sometimes be hundreds of people that wanted that, that giveaway. And so I would have to literally copy paste and, and repeat over and over and over and send that to them. And so I wanted a way to where when they responded, it would just automatically send them to that to them. And I, I tried to do it. It, it, <clears throat> it did not work the, the first time that I tried to do it because it took multiple steps. And so it, I, I actually reached out to like Pabli support to the support company to, of, of, I was using something that's similar to Zapier, but it's not Zapier. I reached out to their support. I was watching YouTube videos and I could not figure out how to do it. Um, and I actually um, set it all up and I, I thought I had it and I just couldn't get it to work. Um, and, you know, I, I, I literally just about gave up. And then all of a sudden I noticed that it worked but I got it to work by accident. And, and because I had tested like 20 different things, I had no idea how to get it to work. Long story short, there was like this delay on the trigger of 10 minutes. So even though I had it to work it, then the trigger, the trigger wasn't, wasn't triggering. And so I'm, I'm just going to show you step-by-step step how I do it to save you the trouble. So there's a couple of steps, a couple of things you need. You are going to need a Facebook page. You are going to need a Facebook group. You are going to need um, the, the Pabli. The, the, it's it's kind of like Zapier, but it's called Pabli, P-A-B-B-L-Y. Uh, there's a link in the description. Um, and you're go then you're going to need to post inside of your group. You're going to need to comment. You're going to need to connect it all. Then you're going to need to test it and run it. And I'm going to show you step-by-step step in this video how I set it up. And it's it's like it's actually super, super easy. So here we go. Okay, so this right here is my Facebook group, okay? This is my Go High Level Elite Facebook group. This right here is my High Level Elite Facebook page. Now, you'll notice that I'm signed in as Austin, as me. This is my primary account, okay? The reason that I'm, I'm explaining it like this is because I did a lot of back and forth on trying to figure this out. So something that you need to do is you have to have a dedicated Facebook page for your Facebook group. This will not work without a Facebook page. Okay. So for those of you that are like, oh man, I, I, I thought that I was going to be able to automate um, comments just on every post inside of a group. No, it has to be a post from your Facebook page and I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, I'm not going to get into how to set up a Facebook page. If you don't know how to set up a Facebook page, Google, how do I set up a Facebook page? But um, once you set it up, okay, you're going to have a Facebook page that looks like this, okay? And you need to be able, so what you're going to do is once you set it up, you're going to toggle to now become, to act as your Facebook page and you're going to request access to your Facebook group. So as your, I know it's going to get a little confusing, boom. Now I'm acting as my Facebook page. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in, see it says right here, you're now acting as high level elite on Facebook. So now I'm going to go here and I'm going to type in go high level and I'm going to go to my Facebook group. Now I'm already a member. My, my Facebook page is already a member of my Facebook group. Come on. Oh, so this is it. So my, so I'm already a member, so I, I don't, I don't need to do anything, but, but here's what the next step. So you're going to request access. Then you have to go back. You have to switch back to your normal user and go into your group. And then you have to allow access to your Facebook, your Facebook page. Once you have allowed access to your Facebook um, page from your Facebook group, then you need to go in here and click and you need to add your Facebook page as an admin to your Facebook group. Okay, you have to follow that step. Okay, so you create a page, then as your page, you request access to the group, 
then you give your page access. Then as the group, as your primary account, you give your Facebook page admin access to your group. So look, Austin's an admin and my Facebook page is an admin, which then I have to make, obviously I, I'm an admin of my page. So now that I have that both set up, I have a Facebook group um, called Go High Level Elite. I have a Facebook page called High Level Elite. I gave my Facebook page admin access to my Facebook group. Now that that's all connected, I'm all set up and I'm ready to go to the next part. The very next part is you're gonna want to go down here to um, group settings. And you are going to want to, uh, before I show you the next step, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So to hit that subscribe button right now, uh, do me a favor. I love producing content and I will keep doing it as long as you guys keep smacking that subscribe button. So the next step right here is you're gonna hit apps and you're gonna wanna connect the Pabli app. You just hit connect and add, and it, 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 you follow the prompts, okay? Hit add app, search Pabli, hit connect, boom. You're all set there. And you and you can do that before you even have a Pabli account, okay? And then you're going to want to go to, click the link in the description and um, get your get your free Pabli account. I think it's like free right now. And like I said, it's, it's kind of like Zapier, but it's an upgraded version of Zapier. It allows you to do more connections. Okay, so this is very, very simple, this next step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new workflow. Okay, you're gonna create a new workflow and I'm just gonna open up the one, um, I'm just gonna open up the one that I actually have already created, but you'll create a new workflow. And the first step, okay, it's going to, you know what? I'm just gonna show you what it's like with a new workflow. So create new workflow, um, Facebook comment, auto responder test. And so the first thing it's going to want you to do is search for app. You're going to hit Facebook groups. Then you're going to want to trigger an event. A new comment is going to be the trigger. You're going to hit connect. Um, it's going to take you through some prompts to connect your Facebook page. Just make sure you follow the prompts to get your Facebook connected. Um, if you have any questions about that, put it in the comments and I'll, and I'll help you out. Uh, but it's pretty simple. Just follow the, the prompts and then you save your settings. So right now it's going it, to, my settings already saved. So I hit save there. All right, now this point is where you want to stop. Stop whatever you're doing right now and pause, okay? Because just to make sure that this triggers right properly, you're gonna want a fresh piece of data now that your Facebook is connected to Pabli. I, I had some people run into this problem and this is how we figured it out. So stop right now, go to your, so now you're gonna go back to your Facebook page, okay? And you're going to create um, a test post, okay? So you need to be acting as your Facebook page. And then you need to go as your Facebook page to your Facebook group. And you're going to create a test post, which for me was this one here. Um, I don't want to show you that right now, though. All right, so I just typed this in. I said, um, we we are just checking connection with this post. This is Vilo, um, yada, yada, yada. If it's not too weird, post welcome. Because what you need is you actually need a comment. You, uh, you need a comment. So you need to put post, and, I mean, you need to put the post from your page, okay? Then the next step is you're gonna have to go back to your main profile and you have to add a comment. There has to be a post and you have to have a comment, okay? So you've gone here, you've set up this first step, Facebook group, new comment, you've stopped, you've 
you've gone here. Now you've posted in your Facebook group as your page. Then you switched profiles. You went to your main profile and you, you commented. Okay. Boom. Once you have that step, now you're going to go back. Okay. So now you go back. Um, you, you might want to hit refresh on this and then Oh, maybe not hit refresh. Um, but okay, Facebook groups. Trigger event is new comment. Connect, it'll be your saved profile. And now that you already have the post and you already have the comment in your Facebook group, and these little squares stop spinning round and round. Now I'm gonna select the group that you've already linked once you followed the prompts of connecting Pabli to your Facebook group. Boom. And then you are going to select the group, then you're gonna select the post. Um, now it's going to allow you to choose what post you want to um, select from. So this was it right here. We are just checking the connection. So I'm gonna select that. Um, top filter is basically it's only going to auto respond to the first message that someone comments to. If you go includes replies, then basically every time someone replies, it's going to respond to and you only get one message choice. So far as I figured out, you only get one message choice. So um, I do top level comments, simple responses. It looks like I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more digging because there's obviously maybe there's there's a way to to, to do non simple responses. So either way, once I have that and it's let me select that. Um, if it does not allow you to select a group, your group is not is not integrated properly. If it does not allow you to select the post, you did not follow the steps properly. Go back and follow the steps properly, and then um, you hit save and test, and then boom you are going to get this data here. So once, it, if it looks like this, you're ready to move on to the next step. And then it's gonna say, choose app. You're gonna type in Facebook comments and you're gonna select the little Facebook comments icon. And then you're gonna click down from here and it's a comment on page post. Okay. Um, then you're gonna hit connect and you're going to select your profile. You're gonna hit save. And then what you're, what's gonna happen is it's not going to pull um, there, there's no, there's no page post because it is kind of a workaround and your, your post happened inside of the group. So it's looking from your page. So you're not gonna actually find a page. So you're gonna want to select the page. So your page that you've created, um, post, you're not going to find the post that you posted in there. Okay. Um, you're going to want to select map. Um, and then you're going to want to clear anything that is in there or, or select this down here and in that area, you're going to select this ID and you're going to map that ID. You do have to clear everything out of there. So boom. So that should be the only thing in there is that ID right there. Now, this is the text that you want to go to every single person that comments on that post. So maybe thank you for commenting and requesting, requesting um, info. Here is the link, www blank. okay? And then what you can do, and then, and then after that, you hit save and test. Boom, so ID, value. And so what I should be able to do now is go back here and it pulled, let's see. Mm. Okay, and so now you're completely set up. Let's see, that looks like an additional reply. And you can see right here that under Dan Jankos, because this was welcome Vilo, this was the example that it pulled when we when we when we did the test. So this right here it says, look, thank you for commenting and requesting info. Here is the link to blank. Now 
that's the, every person is going to get the same exact message, but you can see like, if you're getting message after message after message, um, you can see that I was, I was testing this so many times trying to figure this out. Um, and if, if, if you're, if you're giving something away and it's like, Hey, do, who wants my thing? And then, and then like 200 people want it. You could see how this could speed this up. You could also send them the link to like your Manny chat where, where they opt in to, to your automated chat bot. You could send them to your website. You could send them to your product offer. Um, this is a great way. You know, the, the post could, could be like some type of value. Here's three steps to win this, to do this, 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 and this. If you want more information, put more info and they put more info and it sends them a link to your thing. So this is a great way to automate that. So, you, so you're copy pasting. So now that everything is set up, um, I'm just going to delete that. You're, you're, you are all, you're all set to go. So again, quick recap is you, you have to have a Facebook page. Okay, the Facebook page has to become a member of your Facebook group. Then your Facebook group has to give your Facebook page admin access. Then once all of that's connected, you need to connect the Pabli app. You go into group settings, connect Pabli app. Then you need to set up a Pabli account. You need to follow the prompts and the instructions on how to connect Pabli to your Facebook group. I think there's like a nine minute YouTube video on how to do that. Um, from the Pabli institution, then you're going to come into Pabli. You're going to set this up. First step is Facebook groups, new comment, connect, um, group, go high level elite post. You're going to choose the post inside of the group. You're going to filter top level, simple response, save. It's going to give you this data. Then second step, you are going to Facebook comments, um, comment on page post. You're going to select page high level elite, then your page post, you're going to make sure you click this. You're going to hit map and make sure you map that ID from this section here. And then the comment is what you want the automated response to be. And then, um, simple response, hit save and test. If this says ID and this value here, you are golden. Then you're going to want to make sure you go up here and make sure this is on. And once that's on and that's set up, every time someone comments on that, it's going to send them this, this message, okay? If you have any questions or need any help with that, please put it in the comments or um, join us at the Go High Level Elite Facebook group. Uh, we're about 2,600 strong right now, and the group is committed to answering questions about Go High Level uh, the CRM automations, all of that. So if you're in the group and you need help with, you know, automating your, your, your process, your sales funnel and all of that, that's what we do inside of there. Um, but if, if you just need to know how to set up Facebook and Pabli um, and you have a couple questions, put it in the, in the comments, um, please, please, please remember to smash that subscribe button. Okay. And uh, for those of you that follow me because you watch my, my high level videos, training videos, on how to build sales funnels and automate your business. And you're looking for my affiliate offer, the things that I give away, um, if you get high level, uh, go to www.highlevelelite.com forward slash affiliate dash bonuses. And that is where you will find the free bonuses um, for, for my affiliate offer if, that's, if you are one of my affiliates looking for that. If you have any questions about this, please reach out and I will help you out. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk soon.